hi all so in this video we are going to see about how to perform crud operations on record okay so crud operations means what okay so see any data that we used to perform it goes under crud operation like some uh, you know like most of the data they do support like crud like new record can be created in the system okay whatever the data you have you know like created you should be able to read that data okay that covers our c means create read and then you should be able to update the particular record as well okay and then d delete oh and you should be able to delete the record as well and if you see here i have written here soft and hard delete so two kind of deletes are supported two kinds of deletes are there either you uh, either you delete the record completely from your system that is kind of hard delete system uh, from database only this particular entry is deleted or you can also do soft delete like data is still there but uh, visibility you have made it false that's and that's what okay so let's go uh, here with this example here so here you can see here i have made a record list here of watch lists okay so you know like recently a lot of movies are coming here okay so what we will see here is many many times you know like what happened we want to add some movie to the watch list okay so that for that particular only i have created this record like add movie to watch list so you can you know like uh, add the movies for example recently one movie is coming you know like open heimer so open i guess spelling is correct openheimer is there genre is sci-fi you can add this movies you know like uh, you can write it and in the comments you can write like okay so this weekend i'm going to watch this and rating you can give like what rating it all it is there and you can click on submit as soon as you pub you as soon as you know like as you publish it or, or you click on submit the data then what happens like this movie got you know like in your watch list here you if you want to mark this like suppose i want to you know, like update this data update means what i will just you know, like i have placed an icon here uh, which tells like it is watched okay now if i click on submit so see here the status will change like it is washed if you want to delete this data you can even you know like delete see here when i click on delete all the data is now in the read only format whatever the data we have because at time of delete we don't suppose like you know like we should be able to edit the entry and if you click on delete then this particular entry will get deleted from the system let me not delete this because it is also in my watch list let me delete the gravity one here okay so gravity i have watched it now let's delete it once you delete see it is removed from the system okay i guess one more data was deleted fine okay so we will see like how we can uh, create this one okay so let's go here i have built an application here movie watch list now first of all we will uh, have to select a record type here what all data we want it here so let me you know like uh, let me make my record here watch list okay and let's click on create here okay now let's save the record and now we will create database table using records only so all these things will be done with the help of record so here it is asking like select data source i don't have any tables as of now to select so i will create from scratch okay and now i will click on next here and that's it so here i will write i will make it these are some metadata fields that's fine i i will add my own fields here okay let me just add this fields what all fields we have here we have movie name okay so we can write right here movie name which genre of movie it is okay which genre of movie it is okay uh, what is the rating uh, that i want to give so that you know, like it will be helpful for me okay what comments if i want to write like why i am adding this movie in my watch list and one more flag i will watch is is watched so this also i want to uh, watch it one more flag is one more field i will add is active okay it will be very helpful uh, later on we will see like why it is there uh, we have added okay it's created by and modified by we will keep it text with now genre is fine rating we will keep it number integer okay comment system is watched is a boolean flag okay is watched is my boolean flag so that i will keep it that's fine now let's click on next button here once we have clicked on next that's it okay so now we can publish our record here our data model part is done now we can go and configure our interfaces for that purpose okay so let's go here and now let's click on interface new okay and here i will write it add what i will take a form layout here 
okay in this form layout i will delete this part here okay and here i will uh, okay add watch list let's try we will uh, do what here is we will take our columns layout here okay and the first column i what i want here is i want to add my movie name okay so it will come in the movie name here okay next uh, i will take a drop down field here okay to add uh, what genre of movie it is related to and then i will add like what rating it has so for rating as well we will put a drop down value here and what else we have movie name is done rating is genre is done rating comments okay so for comments we will take a paragraph field okay here okay what we will do here is now that you know like we have uh, arranged all our fields so let's uh, rename it here so here i want to store movie uh, name okay and i need to save my data as well okay so we have to create rule inputs here so i will create a m movie watch list underscore watch list so I, if you see here i am giving whatever the name my record has that name only so that you know it will be easy for you uh, to find out like this particular ri is of record only okay so i will give the value here and let me ri bank movie watch list dot fields dot movie name this is done now let's do the save into as well here fields movie name so if movie name is done the next thing i will just copy it here and in the state here and the value will only change here okay rating is done here and it is done here as well the next drop down i will change it to like which genre of movie it is okay and, and here i will just put it to genre that's it and the last thing is comments like why comments okay and now comments here as well so all this part is done now what we want to do here is let's try to you know, like test this data once so movie name you know like one more movie is there barbie has come okay genre is like of what we was like we need some genre of movies as well so what i will do here is uh, you know like uh, i will create some uh, local variables here where i will store the genre of movies there okay so I will create local bank okay what all genre of movies i want to watch so i will just put it here let's say comedy okay sci okay so i will put here sci-fi one more thing we will we can put horror as well that's completely fine that's it so this is done and we will add our rating as well so local bank rating so instead of you know like you can either use uh, in the uh, local like one two three and all or you can if you if you just want one two three as well so we can also use enumerate function enumerate it uh, if you want like you know like uh, for 10 values so you just enumerate it to this one automatically you know like this will have a rating of automatic 10 values will get created for you that's it <laughs> so instead of writing one two three we can also do that okay now what we will do a movie name is done okay ha huh. instead of uh, the rating what we will do here is already our local bank rating is done here so i will just have to replace the local bank rating part and for the genre part here okay so what we will do here is uh, local bank uh, genre and here as well we'll do local bank genre of movies i guess that's it okay so genre okay let me just click on test here four genres are coming here okay let's say uh, you know like barbie is there and i guess barbie is adventure or what movie i'm not sure okay uh, okay comments and you can write test and all this data whatever you have uh, tried to write all this data will get our record doesn't have this data only or it has you know like more data as well uh -huh. and uh, instead of this cancel button which is you know like boolean type we want to store boolean button here instead of that we will just make it a uh, button here and we will make it text so that you know like instead of handling from just a boolean we can make text button here okay and now i will save into i will add here first of all i will save the button 
where I want to save the data in the button and what data I want to save so I want to save you know like few data here like submit will be there cancel will be there like this so it's better to create you know like a, a constant there okay button uh, day value so I will do here is a uh, text I will make it okay and I will make it an array so I will make submit button okay and then cancel is there we are also going to delete some record and we might read the data as well so that's it and in the description we will make sure to add uh, these buttons as well submit is done okay and then we will uh, just let me just that's fine text and array was done now the same constant I will refer it here so cons bang okay mw underscore button value we I want to submit the data so it is submit so now let's click on submit and see here button is submit here same thing I will do it here so you can see here save into is already you know like a uh, uh, present here so uh, what I will do here is rule input button only it should add but uh, the data that you will add here is uh, cons bang mw button value and it will add the second data so if you click on cancel then it will add oh value is here true only so two values are getting populated okay let's you know like uh, let me just cancel it once so and let me just access this data here copy it. so let me just test my data and save as default test so that i don't have to worry about it now now fine uh, okay so now our uh, interface is ready so if we click on cancel then cancel is getting a uh, really so here we haven't defined the save option here so let's define our save button here that's fine if we click on cancel then cancel will get saved but our day you know like our record has few more fields like is washed is there is active is there created by created modified by modified all this data is also there so how we have to make sure to save that data as well so what we will do here is we will first of all we want to save is like a ri bang what initially any movie that we have watched you know like we we can just wa watch it to the playlist we won't give uh, the option to add it okay now each watched i what i will do initially i will keep it false because here whenever you are adding movie to a watch list most probably you haven't watched that movie so by default i will initially i will give it false there okay now the next thing that i want to do here is once it is false i want to save some next data as well for example is active as well okay is active i will save it to true initially any data is there is active is true and rest all the data you know like uh, are there uh, for example ri bank uh, m watch list okay dot created on so created on will be now and one more data field that is missing here is uh, that we can uh, easily add it here is uh, ri bank movie watch list dot uh, created by so created by each which user okay so created by is the i will try to add here logged in user logged in that's it so when you click on submit now you will get a lot of data here means all the data you will get created modified modified is not there okay that's fine our interface part is done 